Hey, Ray, you, you guys are obviously playing a, a really strong Oregon team and you, you end up making pretty quick work of them. How do you how do you do that, especially given the stage of the NCAA tournament? Yeah, I think we uh, afterwards, uh, staff, we tried to remember a, a time where Oregon had more than a two point run. Um, and that's that's really unheard of. So, first of all, we we sided out um, offensively at a high level, um, but, you know, we served well. We were just really good in all phases. And uh, when we got pressed a little bit in the third set, we called a timeout. We had a great response after that. So just really proud. I think we got a team that's obviously peaking at the right time. Uh, the last couple of weeks of the Big 12 obviously has given us some momentum. But we got, uh, you know, some really, it's a really young team out there competing against uh, an Oregon team that's very mature and very experienced. So it was, it was a joy to watch. And, and your team looked pretty loose out there. Was, was that the case? And how do you think they were able to, to play that way, just given the, the stage? We talked a little bit about uh, the pressure probably was from the last two weekends where we had to win to get into the tournament. Why would we feel and worry about any pressure uh, in this situation? Go enjoy it. Um, very few teams get to experience this. So don't go a moment without a smile for a teammate or uh, over communicating or all those things. So I, I just think the vibe has been so good that uh, ever since we saw our name come up on the board, uh, they were not going to let this opportunity go by without uh, creating our best best case scenario and our best effort. And as it's kind of playing out, is, is there a moment where you kind of start to feel confident that not only do you guys have a chance to win, but you could really maybe do it quickly and uh, efficiently? Yeah, I, I think uh, the 3-0 tonight, uh, all the games were competitive. They got to 20 every time. We just were good at the right time. So um, it, it, uh, at, this, at this level, at this point in the time, the NCAA tournament 3-0 sweep is, it is impressive. And that means we were good in all phases. Uh, there might be moments tomorrow night, obviously, where things don't run as smoothly and we got to figure some things out. We got to be resilient. We got a teammate at a high level and we got to find a way. But uh, we're looking forward to that op opportunity, whoever it is. And uh, both both Carolines were, were pretty effective around the net. What what kind of impact did, did they have? Uh, Crawford uh, took over the match early. Um, she dominated early with the attack, uh, with her block. I think she changed their mentality offensively a little bit by what she did. So I think that was the biggest influence. But then for Bean to uh, be comfortable and, and uh, offensively had really good balance, um, that speaks – really highly of those two kids and their competitive confidence that they have. Cool. Thanks. Thank you. Yeah, Ray, I think you alluded to it there a little bit, but just, you know, you got 24 hours until your next match. Just what do you feel like those 24 hours are going to look like um, for this group on uh, this yeah. record? Yeah, I mean, we started to prep on Ole Miss and Creighton, but obviously it wasn't a deep dive because there's no reason to do that until you know who you might play. Uh, so we'll watch, the coaches will watch this entire match coming up. Uh, the, the team will probably watch a couple sets and we'll go back to the hotel and uh, Coach Caitlin will begin to put together a defensive plan. Coach Billy will get to put together an offensive plan and co collectively as a staff, we'll come up with uh, what we feel like gives us our best chance. Now our players need to, uh, they need to take care of their bodies, they need to hydrate, they need to rest uh, because uh, obviously we're going to play a high level opponent again tomorrow night. But, you know, as much as we probably... Uh, didn't like it in Big 12, the back-to-back. -back. Uh, that probably will serve us well now moving forward in an in a NCAA format like we got going this weekend. Is there a back-to-back -back during conference play that stands out at all that you feel like really serves you well in this sort of situation? Or are all of them just because of how many you know high-profile teams were in that conference this year? Uh, really just all of them had that sort of help for you? Yeah, I, I think now uh, it'll be so different because – uh, the team that loses on the back-to-back -back makes so many adjustments, and then the team that wins got to make adjustments. We got a brand new opponent tomorrow. I think that'll be fresh, which I think will be great. I think the fact that we're used to competing on back-to-back -back nights will be great. I think a new game plan, a new uh, team on the other side of the net will be uh, will be good for us. Hey Ray, you don't know if it's Creighton yet, but you guys have had some battles over the years. So if it is them, kind of what kind of matchup should people expect? 
Uh, I hope we we play our best. We'll need to. Uh, Kirsten's a good friend, uh, their head coach. She's done an outstanding job here. She's found a niche here at Creighton and made them uh, kind of the Gonzaga of uh, uh, mid-major volleyball here. I mean, they've been really, really good over time. So it'll be, I'm sure it'll be a great challenge. Obviously, they've got to take care of their business tonight, but uh, we would hope that we could have some of the epic uh, showdowns that we've had in the past if that does come to fruition.